It's the Real Estate Podcast, brought to you by Ray White, the largest real estate and property group in Australasia. And welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Podcast. Well, we're talking to Tim Abbott from Ray White Lower North Shore. Welcome to the Real Estate Podcast. Thanks very much, Craig. The Lower North Shore, I've noticed that there are some new apartments and townhouses that are popping up there. Are people buying off the plan? Like, is it a pretty good time to get into the market in the Lower North Shore? Yeah, absolutely. We're big fans of the Lower North Shore. We all live here and work here and spend a lot of time. And and buying off the plan has become very popular. Yeah, we only market off the plan properties once the DA is obtained uh, from the council. Uh, therefore, it's a relatively quick process uh, from sale to moving in, somewhere in the order of 18 uh, months to probably a maximum of two years, we find. You know, it's interesting buying off the plan. You get a lot of people that conceptually, they just can't get their heads around buying off the plan. But the minute the crane and a bit of activity goes in, oh, heck, we've got to get in and have a look at the <laughs> Too late. It's already, they've already <laughs> been sold, you know. That, that's exactly right. We find some people prefer to buy properties uh, that they can see or that they, they can move into straight away. Uh, but the problem is that there's a substantial shortage of suitable new dwellings in the, uh, in the local area here. So we, we do find that people are willing to commit even if that means waiting for them to be ready. Because when you're making a decision to, to find your next property for the, that will suit you for the next 15 to 20 years, it's, ensure, it's important to ensure that it is exactly right. Yeah, because not everybody has that visualisation like you and I, Tim. We can visualise it. We can, we can look at it on the plan and we can see ourselves living there, but not everybody has that. So they can talk to you about that. You can say, look, th- there's nothing to be scared of here. Let me just explain the the steps, how we do it. Yeah, that, that's correct, Craig. It is an important thing to be able to explain it uh, correctly. And we spend a lot of time before we launch a project with the developer, just making sure that we understand every single thing about the development. But you will have seen that in some of the marketing that's uh, being done these days with Off The Plan, uh, the what we call CGIs or the computer generated images of the interiors and the exterior of, of the building are exceptional. And and actually, it helps the architects and the developers work out individual little details of the building. So both they and the customer have a really clear idea of what it's going to be. And so that, so there are no surprises. Everything's thought through and, and documented well in advance. If it is an 18 to month to two year period, it actually works quite well for a lot of property owners. Uh, it gives them enough time to get their existing house ready for, for sale. They don't have to move out straight away and uh, allows them to get ready for the downsize or the upsize, whatever move it might be, in a stress-free um, sort of time frame. So how has the apartments and the townhouses feared uh, with regard to the COVID and what's been happening of late? It's a good question you ask. I think through COVID, everybody's been spending a lot more time at home. And so understanding how the study spaces, how the workspaces, uh, living spaces and so on work, everyone's a lot more au fait with planning and how uh, to spatially work out a townhouse or, a, or an apartment. In regards to the market, we found that it's been surprisingly resilient in this area of, of Lower North Shore. People have had a lot more time to be searching for property whilst they've been in lockdown. And we've had, you know, we've had two lockdowns here. The first month of lockdown was a little bit quiet when everybody was just working out how to work from home and, and what to do. But after that, uh, once once people have got back uh, into the the mode of looking for property. We've had some very, very strong months with people buying things off the plan. And the developers, you'll obviously want to work with the best developers. So talk that through in terms of the developers you work with. Okay, yeah, we're very uh, lucky to be uh, predominantly working in this area. And we were lucky enough to only work with developers of a, a really high caliber. And that, that's sort of through market forces. The, uh, the good guys that have got a good track record continue to grow their businesses and um, uh, we sort of grow, grow with them. Uh, but when, when buying off the plan, it's very, uh, or it's imperative actually, uh, to be dealing with a developer uh, with very solid financial credentials and a builder with a solid track record of delivering quality uh, developments. They are very, very important. 
The legislation has also recently changed where there is now a uh, New South Wales building commissioner who is ensuring that the quality of new residential developments across New South Wales is held to the highest of standards. The new legislation means that the builder and the developer must set aside some um, money for a period of time after the development's completed uh, to cover the cost if any unforeseen items uh, need to be rectified after settlement. So that is legislation. With this building commissioner coming in, uh, the, the industry has changed substantially for the better. Tim, it sounds like you're right across this. Okay, yes, that's right. We do it, do it day in and day out, so we need to uh, know what it's all, all about. And Tim, who generally buys off the plan? Uh, Craig, we sell a wide range of uh, different styles of homes to uh, the local community. We sell uh, entry-level one and two-bedroom apartments that are popular with uh, both first home buyers and investors. We've had a lot of success in recent times selling high-quality townhouses, uh, which are really the size of large three- or four-bedroom homes. The, the largest group of purchases uh, that we sell to are the downsizers. Uh, we talk with this uh, group of buyers day in and day out, and therefore we have a really clear understanding of what they're looking for. Craig, time and time again, we find that most downsizers would love to stay within a 5 to 10k radius of where they have lived for the past uh, 10 to 20 years. So they don't really move all that far. But what is most appealing for them is uh, the ability to reduce the amount of maintenance and associated costs of maintaining a, a large house. So to stop having to sweep up and clean the gardens mm. each weekend, just have low maintenance uh, living. So before we go to the lower North Shore, what is the maybe the one thing that you really love the most about living in the lower North Shore? Oh, we just love the fact that uh, everything's so close. We love the restaurants, the pubs. Uh, we love the beaches, uh, Balmoral. And we're also not far from the northern beaches as well. But you've got the perfect scenario where you're close to the city, close to the beach, and a lot of really good social things to do around uh, around the area. Tim, thank you for coming on to the Real Estate Podcast. No worries at all. Thanks, Craig. Take care. We connect you to the best real estate information across Australia. The Real Estate Podcast.